Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2023, on this month of September 25th, Monday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father, for this wonderful opportunity. Let us thank Him. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Last full morning, our Lord protected us. Let us lift a hand and give God the glory. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For the good sleep He gave us last night and blessed us to our Lord. Let us thank Him. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. With good health and happiness. To be awake, the Lord gave us a great privilege for that. Tell Him, thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercies. Thank you. Father, for your compassion, let us thank Him. Father, this morning also in Christ Jesus for victoriously leading us with all the spiritual blessing, for filling us and for decorating us with all the spiritual blessing. For this morning leading us likewise, let us thank Him. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we worship you. Father, we praise you. And Father, we tell you thank you. How good you are, Lord. How great you are. You are more than enough. How great is your love, Lord. How great is your compassion upon us oh father how great is your mercy upon us lord father this morning we worship you we praise you we thank you hallelujah father we thank you father we thank you father we thank you the psalmist is saying in psalms 73 verse number 24 25 and 26 says over there you will guide me with your counsel and afterward receive me to glory whom have I in heaven but you, and there is none upon earth that I desire beside you. My heart and my heart, my flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Verse 28. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I put my trust in the Lord God, that I may declare all your works. Let us pray together. Let us all close our eyes and be engrossed in prayer. This moment, don't think anything else. Don't be worried about anything else, but pray and give your burdens into the hands of the Lord. Hallelujah. So let us together, our knees, give it into the hands of the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, for this morning, thank you. Last morning, for protecting us, thank you. For the good sleep you gave us last night, thank you. This morning, for waking us up, thank you. Today, Father, for making us victorious and for covering us with all the spiritual blessing and leading us, thank you. Father, this morning, we pray for everyone who is hearing this voice today. Whoever is hearing this voice, let them all be blessed. Let them be honored. Let them be uplifted in their needs. Let your grace be them. Father, let the sick in the name of Jesus Christ be healed. Complete health, complete healing and rest upon those who are sick. Receive it. Miraculous healing. We declare upon them, especially, O oh Father, those who are going through a flu, cough, this morning in the name of Jesus Christ be healed every knee will bow every sickness the name of it will be bow before the name of Jesus Christ every frozen shoulder every tennis elbow every such manner in the name of Jesus Christ be healed complete health give it unto them we pray O Lord also Lord Jesus Related to the urine, urological problems in the name of Jesus Christ right now be healed. The blockage in passing urine, the urine passing without the person's knowledge, the pain when passing urine, infection, everything in the authority in the name of Jesus Christ right now be healed. Blood related issues in the name of Jesus Christ be healed. Miracle all over in the world. Father, thank you for giving it into your children. Platelet count in the name of Jesus Christ. Be normal. Be normal in the name of Jesus Christ. Platelet count be normal. Also, Lord Jesus, thank you for your godly intervention. For those who don't have job, on this Monday morning, receive it. Those who are going through financial difficulty, let them be delivered. God's peace, God's rest, God's joy in families, let it overflow. In the name of Jesus Christ, those who are working for thy kingdom, be blessed. These days a fire of the Holy Spirit in everything that they minister, that nations and countries will be delivered. Father, bless them, we pray. Father, we give you all the glory in Jesus' mighty and matchless name. 
morning we make this prayer amen 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 let the lord bless each one of you abundantly abundantly this morning let the grace the peace and the joy of the lord in your life increase and overflow i pray and let the lord bless you in these end times today further we are going to meditate from the book of second timothy chapter 4 verse 18 second timothy 4 18 and the Lord will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. This is a word of worship. Paul the Apostle has written many epistles and verses that is related to worship. In one of that it says, we are blessed with all the spiritual blessing from heavenly from heavenlies and blessed be his holy name and also he who delivered us from all evil and placed us in the heavenly kingdom glory to him and saying all this paul the apostle is giving god the glory worshiping him and not only that with confidence he said declaring it over here the word of the lord is saying and the lord will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom this is his declaration. So we also should make declarations in faith. The word of God that you have received as promises, we should declare it. And that, hallelujah, will have a great impact in the heavens, heavenly realms. When you speak words of depression, oh, I am tired, I cannot do it, I am useless, and it's difficult for me to move forward. When you say such things, Negative impact is being created in the spiritual realm. But we, when we very strongly speak the word of God, what happens in the spiritual realm? Many things are happening and you will move forward. Paul the Apostle, such words that he said should come out of my mouth also. Our mouth, my Lord will deliver me from everything. We can say this to our God because he is a faithful God. He is a God who delivers whatever is your situation. Don't sing about your problem, but sing about the God who delivers you from that problem. Paul the Apostle, the word that he said over here, the Lord will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever. So today if you are going through a sickness, you should say the Lord has delivered me from all my sickness and is preserving me for his heavenly kingdom. Today if you are facing financial challenges, you should say the Lord will deliver me from every financial problem and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory. Say like this and start worshipping the Lord. Great changes you will see in your life. You should say the word of God and give God the glory. You should make God godly declarations. When you declare the word of God, we are making godly declarations. And when you do that in your life, it would, it would open up the doors of spiritual blessing into your life. In Psalms 34, it says, verse 6, This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Yes, we can also say, I pray, and the Lord will hear me and will save me from all my troubles. Hallelujah for delivering me. Thank you. In the Old Testament, when it says he delivers, he will deliver. We can say he, in the New Testament, he has delivered me. Verse 17, the righteous cry out and the Lord hears and delivers him out of all the troubles. Verse 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. With what great confidence he is saying in this manner in our life with confidence. We can say the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want anything. It's a confession, declaration. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I be afraid of? It's a declaration. This morning declare words of God, continuously declaring it. Hallelujah. The Lord will deliver me from all my trouble. Without me falling into the hands of the enemy, the Lord will protect me. Hallelujah. No, nothing will affect me. Such saying like this, such declarations in between, you should keep on confessing and that will act with the angels around you. That will attract the presence of God and activate it. Every negative atmosphere will be gone away from your life and God's fullness will start being revealed in your life. So this morning, you who is hearing this voice, dear brother, dear father, dear mother, dear sister, declare the word of God in your life. 
don't look at your situations but against your situation declare the word of god and that will create a great deliverance in your life practice it dear ones just by hearing it is not enough not just this message any message don't just mark the message as saying it was good or bad but everything only if you make it practical in your life would be be a blessing just by seeing a doctor and not taking the medication will not get you delivered from that sickness but only once you have that medication would you get better in that same manner just by hearing the word is not enough practice it and let the lord bless you in the name of jesus christ our children will prophesy a young man shall see visions and a old man shall dream dreams we are blessed we are really blessed we are permanently blessed and highly favored god bless you god bless you god bless you today hallelujah